Hello guys, welcome to Creative Learning by Daru and Athar. Today uh, we are continuing with our Olympiad Math Practice Questions for Class 4th. So let's see question number 1. In question number 1, this is, uh, there is given that Pamela have, uh, she bought 84 dozen of bananas for charity and packed them in small baskets. If each basket could hold 16 bananas, then how many baskets would she need to pack uh, all the bananas? Okay, so uh, if we all know that one dozen is equal to 12 pieces. Okay, so uh, it is given that she brought 84 dozen of bananas right so she bought 84 dozen so 84 dozen would be equal to 84 into 12 so this will be how many number of bananas this will be equal to 1008 pieces of bananas so for uh, so now this is the total number of bananas that she brought now uh, we need to divide uh, in the next part of the question it is given that each basket could hold 16 bananas so what she did was she bought 84 dozen then she divided that into separate baskets and each basket could hold 16 bananas so what we have to we have to calculate the total number of baskets that will be needed so total number of baskets that will be needed will be equal to in one basket she is putting 16 bananas so we have 1008 bananas that will be divided by the 16 so the answer will be for this question is 63 63 baskets will be if we divide it so 16 6 96 448 and 16 3 so this will be the total number of baskets that will be needed uh, for um, packing 1008 bananas now let's take a look at question number two in question number two it is given as that Ava weighs 60 kilogram and Sam is one uh, one whole one by three times of um, her weight what is the total weight of both of them so uh, we uh, let's uh, assume there are two people a and uh, s so a's weight is given as 60 kilogram and um, it is also given as that s is one whole one by three times of a's weight So what we will uh, we have to calculate the weight of s and for that we will convert this mixed fraction into a uh, proper fraction uh, this will be equal to 3 4 by 3 fraction 4 by 3 times 60 so this will be equal to 20 80 kilograms so uh, s weight will be equal to 80 kilogram and uh, so total weight of both of them would be equal to simple uh, addition will be needed for this and total weight will be equal to 80 plus 60 140 kilogram so the answer for this question will be equal to 140 now let's take a look at question number three uh, question number three is a bit different uh, that's why i have included the options for this question also uh in this question it is a more like uh, you have to calculate uh, uh, it's not given you have to you don't have to calculate anything you have to uh, figure out what information is missing so that you can calculate the total so let's go through the question then i will explain uh, it said that punits went to a movie with his friend he bought two movie tickets for rupees 250 each two cold drinks for rupees 20 each and two packets of popcorn 
what information is needed to find the total amount spent by Puneet. So the question is asking, not asking us what is the total amount that he spent. Uh, they are asking question in an indirect way. Uh, the question is asking uh, is what information uh, is also needed by you so that you can calculate the total amount uh, that was spent by Puneet. So, uh, in order to calculate, see, if we want to calculate the total amount spent by Puneet, then we have to take the sum of the amount spent on movie tickets, which was for uh, two, two movie tickets for rupees 250 each plus two cold drinks he purchased for rupees 20 each so 2 into 20 plus two packets of popcorn see now for two packets of popcorn we are not given the amount for each pa uh, uh, packet of popcorn so this uh, this value is missing and the question is asking this only what information is needed to find the total amount so this information is needed uh, uh, to calculate the total amount which was spent by Puneet. If we know this value then we can calculate easily what was the total amount. Let's say uh, for example if we say the total amount of popcorn was uh, uh, say 30 rupees. So then we can calculate simply by multiplying it and then uh, adding it but this information is not given. That's why I have included the option. See now see uh, what are the options. The first option is a number of people in movie. Do uh, this option doesn't make sense because we uh, we don't need that we need the cost of a packet of popcorn and second is the name of the movie uh, this option is also irrelevant third option is cost of a cold drink but this is actually given as 20 rupees so this also this option is also wrong third correct option is cost of popcorn which is missing if that information is given then we can calculate the total amount spent by Puneet so the answer for this question would be option number D. Let's take a look at question number 4. This question I haven't, uh, actually this question was like in form of pictures. Uh, there is a similar question I have uh, uh, taken in one of my videos. I will uh, put the uh, link in the cards. Uh, so what uh, this question is somewhat like uh, there was images like uh, here I have mentioned three flowers there were three images of flowers and similarly two leaf instead of two leaf there was two images of leaf and one flower and similar way two butterflies were images of butterfly were there so the uh, what uh, is needed is that we need to convert those image problem into this word form so that we can easily solve this question the question is asking us to find the uh, we can say the value uh, of one flower one uh, one flower one ring leaf and one butterfly we have to calculate the sum of these but we don't know the value of these we need to calculate uh, flower ring leaf and butterfly this is we need to calculate but we don't know how to uh, we don't need these we don't have these values so we need to calculate these values and how do we calculate these values we will uh, first what uh, I would suggest that we should convert these mixed fractions into normal uh, fractions of numerator and denominator form so that we can calculate uh, easily. So this will be equal to 9 times 1. And uh, this will be equal to 6, 7. This will be equal to 12 by 9 and this will be equal to 3 so these are all the values so now we can see that three flowers are equal to uh, 15 by 9 so from this we can calculate one flower so one flower will be equal to uh, you can simply do 15 by 3 times 9 and this 3 we can divide this 5 by 9 
similarly uh, from here it is also given two leaf plus one flower equal to 37 by 9 but we have calculated this one flower in this above statement so we can get two leaf is equal to 37 upon 9 minus 5 upon 9 so this will be equal to 32 upon 9 so one leaf will be equal to uh, we can say uh, 16 so this will be equal to 16 upon 9 so this is one leaf this is one flower similarly it is given uh, two butterfly so two butterfly are equal to 12 uh, by 9 so one butterfly will be equal to 12 by 9 into 2 so this will be equal to 6 by 9 we can uh, further simplify it but i would suggest that we keep it this way only because so that the denominator 9 will remain same in all the uh, fraction so in when we want to add all this it will be easier now it is given four uh, rings also four rings are equal to 32 by 9 so we'll put it like this so one ring will be equal to 8 by 9 all so now the question remains is to we have to just uh, put the values here so this will be equal to 5 upon 9 plus uh, ring is 8 upon 9 leaf is 16 upon 9 and butterfly is 6 upon 9 so 9 is the common denominator so we can simply keep it this way uh, this will be 8 this is equal to uh, 35 upon 9 so we can con we can convert this option back into mixed form because the question was originally in mixed so we have to convert the answer back to mixed fraction so this will be equal to 4 sorry uh, 3 8 by 9 so this will be the answer for this question one flower one ring one leaf and one butterfly will be equal to this so uh, originally the question was in uh, picture form and the uh, we have converted the statement into this form uh, we can go in that way also if you are comfortable but uh, I, I like this approach better uh, thanks let's go over to the final question uh, for the day uh, in this question, uh, the question is uh, the given table shows the number of different types of balls bought by a shopkeeper. What fraction of the total number of balls is tennis balls? So we have different number of balls like football, cricket ball, baseball, tennis ball and uh, these are the types of ball and the, the, here it is given the quantity uh, of these balls. So we are asked to calculate the fraction of tennis balls so we have to calculate the fraction of the tennis ball so this is we have to calculate so in order to calculate it uh, we uh, we know that fraction is some part of whole so uh, if we go uh, by the definition we have to calculate the total number of balls now only then we can say that uh, out of the total number of balls this much balls or this fraction of uh, this fraction is it uh, is the number of tennis balls so let's calculate the total number of uh, balls which are there so total number of tennis balls will be equal to uh, so total number of balls not tennis balls total number of balls will be equal to uh, we have to take the sum of it 24 plus 50 plus 28 plus 42 so this will be equal to 144 so out of this we know the number of tennis ball is given to us as 42 so the fraction of uh, tennis balls fraction of 
tennis balls will be equal to uh, 42 divides 144 now we have to simplify the fraction so we can first divide by 20 uh, 2 uh, first divide by sorry first divide by 2 uh, to both the numerator and denominator so we'll get uh, this and then 3 can also divide both of them so if uh, if there's a problem in understanding the uh, how this simplification happens uh, we are planning on bringing a complete detailed uh, lecture on fractions so that will also help you in your uh, understanding of all the types of fractions proper fraction improper fraction mixed fraction and simplification and their addition and subtraction so uh, we will uh, provide a link uh, for those also so the answer for this question will be equal to the fraction of tennis ball will be 7 by 24 so these are all the questions uh, for day number four uh, for uh, day number four if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet uh, do subscribe uh, to our channel like the video and uh, thank you for watching have a great day.